So today's card is called Mortified in the Mirror. That's the card I've pulled from the Heart to Heart deck today. And the lie is I constantly check. Do I look fat, thin, pale, old, drained, drab or ugly? How is my hair, makeup, clothes? Not that great. Others look far better than me. And here is a thought that goes through millions of women's lives every day as we respond to the pressure of the many messages that come at us from magazines and the internet and the TV uh, to look perfect and young and beautiful. But the fact is, none of us looks perfect, none of us is perfect. And so we live with this constant pressure or we can do, not everyone does. Some women are very much take me as you find me. I might have gray hair, I might not wear makeup, but that's fine. And that's, that's good, that's a good attitude to have. It's good to look our best selves. It's good to be happy with the way we look. But what's more important is how we feel inside, because of course that affects how we look on the outside. And the truth of this card says, I am unique, special, truly and perfectly loved by God. And here is a great well of empowering in terms of how we see ourselves. We, it's important to connect with a higher being and I connect with Jesus who, who is God as far as I'm concerned and the Holy Spirit and he gives me as I look at him and look to him every day he gives me the strength to accept myself and to love myself just as I am because I believe that he's made me as a unique and special being and that he loves me through and through and that affects how I see myself so I know I might not be perfect, but we don't live in a perfect world. And so there again is another point of self-acceptance. And the breakthrough on the card is, I know that God treasures the inner person despite the ever-changing outer shell. And we live in a world where things degenerate, where nobody stays young forever. And so, you know, we're going to look different from year to year. We're going to look older, but I know that God treasures me as the person I am inside and out. And it also says in the ancient Hebrew scriptures that we will renew our strength, that God wants to renew our strength. And so as we trust in him, he will renew our strength. He will make us feel strong. And um, that's also true. He says that they who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They will rise up with wings like eagles. They will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. And that's incredible, isn't it? To think that as we meditate on God, as we fix our eyes on God, we can get new strength. But um, yeah, so we're affected by many things the way we feel, in the way we feel. So our achievements, our place in the world, how do we feel about our place in the world? We may have great achievements. We might be a lawyer. We might be a teacher or a doctor. We might make great cakes. We might have brought up wonderful children. We might be good at sewing. We might fly an aircraft. We might drive a fabulous car. There are all sorts of things that we count as achievements and they can make us feel good too. And we might have quite a big place in the world. We might run a company or a small business and we know our place in the world. And these things can affect how we see ourselves. But actually, some people can have all those achievements and still not feel that great about themselves. So as far as I'm concerned, it's all about being, having, um, being able to look in the mirror that God holds up to me and being able to think, I am loved, whether I'm achieving amazing things or not. I've been made by a great creator and he loves me. And that uh, enables me to look in the mirror and love what I see.